Good morning, my loves. This morning we're not going to sing about it, but how many days are there in a week? There are seven. We're not going to sing. What I would like you to do is look up here. If yesterday was Wednesday, what day of the week comes after Wednesday? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I underlined that TH because we don't say T. Those two letters together just make one sound of where your tongue goes between your teeth. Thursday. My turn first. Thursday, 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 TH, TH. U R S U R S D A Y D A Y Thursday 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 Awesome My sweets how many months are there in a year There are 12 why don't you stand When we come back to school it's not going to be December anymore Tomorrow's our last day of school and then when we come back it's not going to be December it's going to be January, and this is not going to say 2020. It's going to be a new year. All right, my sweets, let's sing. Let's do it fast. Ready, set, go. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year. Sit down. Grab your whiteboard and your marker or a piece of paper and a pencil. And I would like you to write the date with me. Let me scoot you over a little bit more. There we go. If yesterday was December 16th, what number is today? If yesterday was December 16th, 16th. After 16 comes 17, and a 17 is what two numbers? A one first and then a seven. And what shape comes after two circles? Then the pattern starts over with a rectangle. You got it. Tomorrow we have a birthday. All right, I would like you to write the date with me for the 17th, December 17th. So the first thing we're going to write is uppercase D. Why do we need an uppercase letter? Yeah, it's the name of the month. You got it. D E. What letter do we need next? E. D S. What two letters make that S sound? C E. You guys know this now already. This is 17th day of December, so I've asked you many times, haven't I? Decem. Mm -mm -mm. What letter says M? Mm? Not two. What one letter says M? Mm? Letter M. It has two bumps. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> two bumps in the letter M. Decem. B, B, B. After M comes B. B is different than D. B has its belly to the right. And when you make a D, you make the circle first. When you make a B, you come down first. December. What two letters say er? E and an R. You got it. All right, what do I need after my month? I have the month December. What do I need next? After my month, I need my, my date. Yeah, today is the 17th. So first I write a one first. And then a seven. I know you hear the seven first and 17, but it's a teen number. And in a teen number, the one always goes first. After my date, I need my comma to leave a space between my date and my y y year. What's the first number in my year? Two. The second number in my year is a zero. The third number in my year is a two. The fourth number in my year is a zero. All right, my loves, you can cap your markers. If you need a little bit more time, I will give you time. And you can say this with me. Here we go. Good morning, Milwaukee. Today's date is 
December 17th, 2020. I want you to look up here. We learned one of these sight words yesterday. Today's date is. We learned the sight word is, didn't we? I'm going to circle it. We know that sight word. The S here makes that Z sound, but it is the word is. Good job finding that, my loves. I want you to look up here at the pattern. Say this pattern with me. Ready? Set, go. 10, 12, 14. What are we counting by? 10, 12, 14. If I look down here, 10, 12, 14. What do you notice that we're doing? What do you notice that we're doing? 10, 12, 14. We're skipping numbers. I skipped 11 and 13, so we're counting by twos. Now, are we counting evens or odds? Well, let's look at the back. Zero, two, four. Hmm, so what are we counting by if it says zero, two, four? Even numbers, you got it. That first number does not matter. The last ones are the ones that tell you if the number's even or odd. So what would come next? 10, 12, 14, skip 15, 16. All right, 10, 12, 14, 16. Skip 17, 18. All right, say it one more time with me. Ready? Go. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Skip 19, right? 20. Two and a cup of tea. Awesome. Say it with me one more time. Ready? Set. Go. 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Awesome. My loves, what I would like you to do is count with me. What number comes after 70? Count with me. Ready? Set. Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> Keep counting with me. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. <sighs> Keep going, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Here we go, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, almost there, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, what would come next? 71, what does a 71 look like? 70 means seven and one means one. A seven and a one makes 71. Say that with me. A seven and a one makes 71. Awesome. I need to color my 71st square.
laying down here. We always start at the bottom, just like we did with our cubes so long ago at the beginning of the school year. All right. Now, I need to write 71 in tens and ones. How many tens are there in the number 71? Which number is in the tens place? The seven is in the tens place. I'm going to write the seven in the tens place. How many ones are there? How many extras? One. Now, is 71 even or odd? Which number do I look at? The first number or the last number, the back? I always look at the back. And it's a one. Is one even or is it odd? One is odd. So 71 is an odd number. Awesome. My loves, I need you to grab your clocks. Grab your clock. Today, I want you to show the time four o'clock. Where are your hands going to go to show four o'clock? Your big hands going to go up to the 12, and your little hand's going to go to the 4 for 4 o'clock. Say 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. Awesome. Now, we have something new to do today because yesterday we learned how to show it on our analog clock, but also how to write it on our digital clock. How do I write 4 o'clock on my digital clock? What do I write first? For four o'clock, I write the number four. The two dots are already there. And then what two numbers do I write for o'clock? Zero, zero. You got it. If you want to write this on your whiteboard or on your paper, you can. Four o'clock. Now we know how to do that. We're going to do this every day in math meeting, okay? This will help you always stay really strong with your clocks. And eventually we'll learn how to tell time to the half hour, too. It's time for the coin cup. Do we count dimes or pennies first? Dimes. How many dimes do you see if I hold it just like this? You should be able to see. Oh, nuts. Well, maybe not. Let me see. How many dimes do you see in there? You see one, two, three, four dimes. So I'm going to put four dimes up in the... Cup. How many pennies did you see in there? Do you remember? One. All right, what do I need to do between my dime and my penny? My dimes and my penny. I need to make a line. You got it. How much is a dime worth? Ten cents. How much is a penny? One. All right, I want you to count with me. Ready, set, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, switch, 41. How do I write 41? What number do you hear first in 40? A four, 41, and then a one. And I can't forget my cent sign. You got it. 41 cents. Sing about the weather with me. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Sunny, cloudy, rainy, snowy. What's the weather like today? All right, go check out your window and let me know what is happening out there. My phone told me that it and it can always be wrong. The weather always changes. My phone said it was going to be cloudy. Is it cloudy outside? I hope it is. I hope my phone was right. Let's sing. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. It's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, it's a cloudy, cloudy day. All right, my sweets, what kind of weather has the most? Cloudy does by far. Who has the second most? 
Sunny has the second tallest, the second most, and who has the least? Rainy and snowy. All right, my loves, let's count by tens. Let's do it Miss Johnson's way. Oh, can you see? There we go. Let's do it Miss Johnson's way. Let me switch over. Ready, set, go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Awesome. My sweets, next, we're going to count by even numbers. Count with me. Ready, set, go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Awesome. And the last one we're going to count by is our odd numbers. Just look up here. We're not doing any kind of anything. I just want you to pay attention and watch so you don't say the wrong ones. Ready? Children do that often. Set, go. One, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, one. Awesome. My sweets, you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you um, for learning today and then our last day of school tomorrow. Bye.